Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are finally going to work on this trim piece that's been off my cabinet in my trailer for the last six months. And so I finally got this part that I needed and it was real, real difficult to find. I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and when I went to Lowe's, they actually had it uh, in their system, but not available. It was back ordered or, you know, it was delayed. So then I went up to Amazon and sure enough, that's where I found this bracket. And I've learned that only one company actually makes this bracket. And if you guys know of any other companies or part numbers, please share that down below for people who are viewing this video. It might be very helpful. So basically, this company is called um, Nap and Vought. Sounds like a German company. And uh, this is a bracket system that allows your upper trim on your cabinet to basically hinge open and close. It's very similar to what you guys have probably in your kitchen sink at home. So with that being said, uh, we're gonna be installing these guys finally on our upper trim here. And it's very self-explanatory. Uh, it's basically, there's a left and a right to this hinge. When you get these hinges, it looks kind of I don't know, overwhelming. It looks like a transformer kind of a contraption. But let me show you, it's really easy. So basically, these brackets have a left and a right orientation. So that's gonna make it easy. It takes all the guesswork out of it. On the inside of the bracket, you'll see little, the letter L and a letter R for left and a right, okay? So let me just show you guys on the right side, basically the way this is gonna attach to the cabinet and this trim piece is there's an L bracket right here. The old bracket goes on the vertical side of the cabinet, like so. And this piece goes on, the, the trim will go like this. Then when you want to flip the cabinet up, it basically just hinges upward, just like that. And then back down, so like so. There are some adjustments, vertical and horizontal adjustments here, so that you don't have to get it perfectly straight, and you can tweak it once everything is kind of um, bolted to the cabinet, if that makes sense. So one of the things that you need to understand before starting this project is one, is what type of cabinet do you have? Is it a solid wood? Is it a MDF? In this case, it's a combination of both. So we bought an all wood cabinet framing. So this is all wood. So when I mount this bracket to this right here, it's not gonna be a problem. However, most trim doors are MDF. And if you guys know anything about MDF, these are basically a particle board. It's uh, it makes a really flat surface and it makes it look nice. However, when you start moving, when you start moving uh, screws around uh, on these MDF base material, the screws will tend to fall out very easily. Especially when you go down the road with vibrations, uh, they tend to come loose. So that's why MDF is not the best material when you're building a cabinet system in your, you know, trailer conversion trying to pick all wood so what i'm going to do to combat this is once i get this thing installed on here get the screws in i'm just going to take some wood screw i'm going to pull the screws out put some wood glue back in the hole and then screw it and tighten it down and just let it sit for a while and that should help with the structure you know keeping this mdf from falling apart as it's going down the road and hopefully you know over many uses of me opening and closing this trim piece it's going to um, hold its structure or not strip out as easily as otherwise. Okay, so I think this is going to be a really quick video. Um, uh, I'm sorry, a really easy installation. So let's get started on that. Okay, so most of these cabinets have these little trim pieces like right here. These are basically spacers. And you want to discard this. You can just pull it out. Just held by a little... And get yourself a little handy impact screwdriver like this. This is made by Rigid at Home Depot. And you want to line up this L bracket as square as possible, but you don't need to be, you don't need to make it perfect at this point. There's a lot of adjustments later on. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of that little, see that hole right there? It's kind of an oval shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that right in the middle, most likely in the middle. Oops, wrong way and don't put it in all the way yet. Maybe two thirds of the way in, so you can make some final tweaks. And what you wanna do is make sure that this hinge is open because if it's closed, you won't be able to access these two screw holes. 
Okay, again, make sure that the L bracket is fairly square, and it, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and push that in there most of the way. Then what I like to do is come back with a regular hand screwdriver and finally torque it down with your hand. So you can kind of feel how tight it is in the frame of the cabinet. Okay, that feels good. Okay, so that's basically how it works. Easy peasy. Oops. Okay, there we go. Again, come back with a hand screwdriver and tighten it down. Make sure everything feels nice and strong. Okay, there we go. Simple as that. So what I'm gonna basically do is I'm just gonna line up this trim piece to the edge of this cabinet, make sure that's fairly square. Um, I, I'm gonna try and, get, oops. I'm gonna try and get it squared up to this drawer right here, but that's gonna be a little difficult without uh, maybe two hands. I mean, I'm not really sure. I'm no expert cabinet installer. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna basically push in this trim piece all the way into the cabinet and then screw, the, screw that in on both ends. And let's just see how that turns out. Okay, nice. So remember what I said is I'm going to go ahead and drill this hole out. Then I'm going to pull it back out and put glue, uh, wood glue in here. Okay. So actually I'm going to do the other side as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. Wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna pull it back out. Okay, I wish it would've given us a few more extra screws. Let's just see how it all works. Hey, that's not bad. All right. All right, guys, so I found a couple more screws. So like I said, I wish it would have provided a couple more screws. Okay, let's see how this all looks. Oh yeah, look at that. The edge lines up pretty good on the, and it lines up good against this drawer, this cabinet right here, on this side as well. Just a little bit low over here. Okay, so I think it looks pretty good all in all. It's not perfectly square with the cabinets, meaning that this, uh, the, the, the gap between this corner and this corner is not perfect, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. It's, it looks better than just having it open. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing, um, the glue dry up and we'll come back later on tonight or tomorrow and we'll close it up and be done with it. Let me give you guys a little closer view of kind of what it looks like. So again, these screws, I wouldn't recommend using it. I was playing with it earlier and I would just keep it loose as loose as possible. In fact, you probably don't even need it. You can probably throw, it, throw them away. The more you tighten these little adjustment screw, uh, the tougher it is to close the hinge on this bracket here. So keep it loose. The last thing you want is, you know, put a lot of force on this trim piece up and down. So there you go. And then our next video we're gonna do, I'm gonna talk more about this 12 volt water pump system and my and how I carry my water around when we travel. So I'm gonna go through all of that and I'm gonna share with you guys why I hate this pump right here. It works really good, but I hate it. So I'm gonna bring this, I'm gonna tear this out and buy a new pump and I'll go through uh, as to why I don't like it. Um, but some of the you know, pros and cons of that water pump and my, and my water system here in my trailer. All right, so that concludes our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next video.